Hello, welcome to another episode of Idiots Play Games. Your hosts today are myself, Joshua, and Benjamin here on my right. Hey guys, it's me again. Uh, today we've got Mickey on the left playing Android 17, and on the right we've got, uh, what was his name again? David playing um, <laughs> Metacaller. Um, I versed him earlier today. I kind of got my ass handed to me by him. Um, it's just dealing with those two drops every single turn for pretty much for free with that deck. It's pretty insane. Um, of course, we've seen Mickey before. He's played Android 17 before. He was in it in the last video with... Um, and what year. a comeback that was. Yeah, what a comeback that was. Um, with Android, you know, just dropping that Android 16, chucking Bean on it, and then that was game. So, um, of course, with Metacaller, you just start with Big Getty Star just straight off out the back. Um, you know, even before the game starts. It's really good because, you know, um, it cycles through your cards a lot more, especially in a game where you kind of want to see the cards a bit more. Yeah, definitely. Like, you've pretty much always got a turn guaranteed. Yeah, on top of that, you don't have to hard mulligan for the card too. Exactly. Yeah. Um, I don't know how this is going to go down. Um, it is Android 17, and that is, in, in the smallest term a, a, a counter to Metacaller because Metacaller kind of saves his entire um, he saves himself with either Raccoon's lasers but you can only get so many of them or just comboing out with more infinite cores every single turn um, so kind of like how I've played my Chomper decks in, in the past but he does it a lot more efficiently of course um, so on Metacaller's normal side uh, he's only got the ability to um, add the big Getty star to the field. There's no other ability on top of that. But when he flips over, when he attacks, he mills the top three cards of his deck um, and he gets to add a Metacola core or Metacola card from his deck. So here we go, turn one from uh, David playing just a Metacola and he's trying to mill to get one Metacola off. It would be nice to be able to do that, but you don't always get lucky. Yeah. So um, looks Johnny like just passing. Oh no, attacking, and then passing. Yeah. Which is okay with his deck. He sh I reckon he should just drop the card from his hand, in my opinion. So there's that big seven drop. They're kind of like your... Um, they're, in a way, like your cells of the deck. You want them in your deck rather than in your hand. Because you evolve them from core. Uh, what just happened there? Did he just swing with it and then use it to add it to, uh, to deck? No, he swung and comboed with one so he okay. could... Activate the big Getty star. I don't know how I feel about that. I reckon you should just kept going. Kept going with what? No, just keep swinging every single turn. Building a huge board against them, of course. Um, That's what he was doing. But he just used one as a combo, didn't he? Yeah, from his hand, so he oh, could play okay, it for one rather hand. than two. Yeah, yeah, okay. So it looks like David's passed, and it's Mickey's second turn. Um, that's right, he's playing blue in this deck again. Um... Just swinging faces, just taking the one life. Oh, and passed after playing the Android. Sick. Probably doesn't want it to die because he's probably got a 17 coming up, so oh, you can do definitely. the combo. Those those Metacallers can just swing straight face uh, straight into them, uh, and it's nothing for Metacall. Uh, so here he is just swinging with another Metacall face, and he's just going to awaken on top of that. He just takes the life. Yeah, as you would. You really want to get to that mark where you have the extra damage on your hero and also yeah. all your cards well, he, nearly. He doesn't get the extra damage until he's on four anyways. Exactly. He, it feels like he always flips over twice. And there it is. The medical is becoming slightly weaker because of it, but... Yeah. But as you can see, he can just swarm them right out. Uh, it's a deck that not a lot of people are used to versing. It is very awkward versing. Yeah, Trying to deal with their board constantly. It, In a way, it counters uh, blue, in my opinion. Because blue needs to kind of hold back reserve a little bit. All these things just swarm right out on the field. Yeah, I'm not sure how my deck would actually go against this one. Yeah, I'm not sure how Tempo Goku would go along with it. So I think it's... Um, Oh, it's still his turn. He's just choosing. 
<laughs> yeah. Uh, reversing da uh, David a lot today. He kept asking every single time if I um, like I'd always ask for a negate, and he's like, Nah, man, I'm completely tapped out. So here we go with it. Um, Andrew, it's 17 and 18 on the field. He can kind of clear his entire board with it just by dropping cards from hand. And it's like he's playing him for free because he'll just drop a card from hand um, just to put it back into active mode. So he can save them. Yeah, exactly. It's a really good combo. Yeah. I personally wouldn't swing here. We'll see what happens, though. At the end of the day, you are just at giving him cards to hand, and versing Metacaller, you kind of just want to swing them all down in the one go, because all of his cards in hand, just, you just have to think of them, every single one of them, as a 5 drop, or a, like a 5,000 drop. Yeah. Um, so it's very aggro-y, very, um, like, he, he probably could just take the life and just be like, okay, well, I've got more cards to combo out in the future. Plus, you do want that awaken. Yeah. So here we go with um, David's uh, fourth turn. Just playing another medical, of course. And it's just another medical turn. Those are a nice addition to the deck. Um, you can combo with them, and then they come onto the field um, as a 15 drop. But exactly. The thing is that it, like it comes in tapped, so it's good to defend, and then comes out and you can swing with for the turn. I think they're probably less useful in a deck like this. Like there's ones like it, like the blue Gohan yep. or the red Vegeta, but in this one they've got stuff that comes out for one, which is 15k beta. Yep. It's I'd say it's more useful for like an actual freezer deck where you can evolve on top of it. Yeah. Unless he does play some freezes that we don't know of. Yeah. Oh, he's 20k just so, yeah. oh, he's 20k right now? I get a yeah. so right now he's 20k plus. Um, that's a permanent effect that goes on all the cards. So you can't like get rid of them with Chumper. Um, and it just it, it, it just stacks on top of it. So yeah. it's a little bit annoying. Um, if I was David, I'd try and pull a board and just pass on this. Or just pass in general because um, he can try and crush a ball anything that comes out for the turn. Yeah, he might want to save a bit of mana depending on his hand. Um, I do remember he was playing Crush Balls and um, Bad Ring Lasers as well. Um, today when I versed him, I played Recrooms Laser against him, and he Bad Ring Lasered it, and that hurt a lot. Oh, yeah, I bet. He, I think he ended up killing me that turn too. Well, just losing four mana would just destroy yeah. most people. So here's the medical core. Um, you can evolve it by putting it on top of your Big Getty Star. Um, search your deck for that seven drop. Play it on top of it. When you play this card, when you evolve with it, you um, summon two uh, infinite multiplication cores from uh, from grave. Now, also, you can do that every single time you attack as well. So, That's five mana, 25 beta, um, plus two 15s, and then when you swing, you get another uh, two 15s as well. It does come in tapped, though, you said, right? Uh, no, no, it comes out just straight as. So I'd say it's a game ender. Um, it does leave you open if they're somehow able to just swing right into it. I uh, like I'd uh, uh, be able to defend from it. Sorry. So here we are finally with the awaken. Um, usually with Metacola. A lot of medical plays will um, just use the the other infinite um, medical core. It's the five drop evolve for four, I think it is. And um, when this card comes into play, um, if your leader is medical, just flip over your leader. Um, medical doesn't draw when he attacks though, so it, you're only really giving him the extra fifteen uh, five thousand and. Um, uh, you you do get to mill the top three and add one to hand. Yeah. But you are milling your deck. So you, I've seen games with medical versus blue decks where they just deck out. Oh wow. Yeah. yeah. There goes that core. 
Ah, oh, you just pop that with the um. What do you pop it with? Cell. Ah, oh, okay. Ah, oh, here we go. He's a big cell play. I'm guessing. Looks like it. Um, it didn't look like uh, David was playing around it. He should have been comboing cards out from his hand to um, save himself from being selled. Um, it's something that you learn with time. I, I, that's the, how I've learned with versing the deck. Well, um, his hand looks pretty big right now, so I'd be a little worried. Yeah, it looks about like eight cards. Oh, but then again. Yep, and there we are. There's a seven drop. The king of salt himself. <laughs> Not a lot of times that you actually see someone actually read the cell card. It's like, yeah, I guess I'll just discard my whole hand with with the amount of cell plays these days. Yeah, but it's more. Please just be. I've read it wrong every other time. <laughs> I get that. Yeah, <laughs> that makes sense. I don't understand why Mickey didn't swing first with the um with the the. Uh, I forget the middle one, the one, the, the evolution between it. Usually you swing with that first, try and get the double strike in, and then eat mill even more from their hand. Um, yeah, but you'd rather the 30k, wouldn't you? Not really. Um, if he's going for lethal this turn, it could be. Yeah, if he's going for lethal, of course. But even still, like, those two cards that he now swings with just go straight to his hand as well. And like he's he still has two energy there, so he could be up. But to he's now down out. to three cards. Yeah. And he is swinging pretty hard. Like it looks like Mickey's hand is pretty big, with the androids um, both being able to untap each other, both on twenty k right now. Um, uh, so that's potentially four attacks between those, if I'm correct, four attacks, and then um, the cell on top, with double strike. Looks like it could be all over here. It could be. Uh, 40, is it? Yep, 40. 45. 45, I believe it was. He's got a 45 total. He's got 5k possible on field and three mm -hmm. cards in hand. He should be able to do this. Yeah, especially... I haven't seen any of his Dodorias this entire game yet, so... That's the bad thing, too. Like, you are, like. If you have got a small hand size right like at this point in the game and you've got a low life, um, you, you, you're not really drawing into anything. His deck doesn't play a lot of 10 drops, a lot of 10 drops compared to like blue decks and all that. And I think that just saves him. Yep, just beat it by 5k and two cards in hand. So he needs to drop two cards from here to save himself from that. I'd just take the one damage, yeah, sure. in my opinion. Yeah. Yep, as he does. Yep. Oh, and here we go. Yep, that's game on that. There's no way you could possibly get over that. Yeah. It's, it, it's just, just sad with, you know, decks like that, having to play around Cell. Um, it's really hard at times, um, like, I guess the medical player could have just comboed more cards out from hand. But yeah, that looks like it's GG from that point, and um, yeah, that was a pretty decent match if you ask me. At least seeing medical, oh, yeah. this was also at the, um, the top, the, the, the top match of the, of the day as well. So yeah, uh, that's it for us today. Thank you all for being here with us. Like and subscribe if you could. And we'll see you next time. See you guys. Not bad for the first time playing this deck.